Hey guys, this is Dan from iPadJailbreak.com. I'm out here on the homepage of Cydia. There's a few ex a useful extensions for the iPad. There's some listed here. <clears throat> if you haven't tried out Full Force or Activator or some of the other ones, um, you're missing out for sure. But I was going to show you Flux today. And it says it'll warm up the screen colors at night. So right now I have, I have the lights turned off, so it's dark. Um, as you can see, it's 9.04 p.m. Uh, I have Flux disabled right now. If you go to Flux here, and uh, it's a free package. It's compatible with 4, 5, and 6. You just go ahead and download it, install it, and uh, you can go ahead and configure it. Uh, there's an app here for it, and you can also jump into your settings and your extensions. Right here is Flux. So uh, at night, I can choose my lighting style. Right now, it's, it's, not dis it's disabled. And then your daytime style, you also have a, a choices on that. So if I go ahead and, and, and pick uh, a different... method. Turn off for color sensitive work. Um, so right now I have it disabled in or enabled in my app. So let me go to the app here, which is uh, it's configured on the iPhone. You'll see it sideways here. Um, but anyway, you can see that I can adjust this, adjust this at night and daytime. Right now it's disabled on the right here. It says enable flex and, I'll, and your location. It wants to know your location so it can guess what your uh, what time it is and if it needs to go ahead and ship. So if I hit Enable Flux, you can see it kind of warmed up to a little bit of an orange. Uh, this this dial, you, you can read it if I move my finger here. Midday sun, fluorescent, halogen, candlelight, or incandescent, and then candlelight. So how dark is the room you're in? So I usually have it set down here pretty low, about 2800K. The daytime as well, you can adjust that and you can kind of see what it looks like. It'll look like in the daytime. You might want to have it actually be daytime when you're doing that. And uh, you can hit preview and you can you can see that I had sunset two hours ago. Um, it's currently going to shift to 28K, 2800K. So if you can tell the difference here uh, between the flux running and not running, um, a few of the more white screen apps. Let's just jump to apple.com here. So this is in the darkness. Uh, it tries to warm the colors up so it's not so hard on your eyes. I'll go ahead and back out here. Go back into flux. And I'll just turn it back off here. Go back into it. It's a little bit brighter, um, more blinding. My camera might have shifted focus uh, or might have adjusted based on how bright it was. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, this is Flux. Uh, it's free out there. Uh, just got a sideways app or you can configure it in your settings as well as long as you have it enabled in your app. Uh, so you must run the Flux app to set your location. So if you want your location to automatically adjust your, your uh, Flux settings, uh, you need to have that uh, shared with Flux. Uh, anything else? Uh, there's other tweaks out here. Uh, just let me know if there's any other comments if you'd like to hear any more about any of these other ones. Um, but yeah, a good place to start for your iPad is it, on your iPad you'll see these and then you'll see some design for the iPad, the ProTube, I love that one too, and Zephyr uh, is kind of uh, more useful on the iPhone I think and iFile and those. Uh, so it's a good place to start if you're looking for some new tweaks if you're new to jailbreaking. Uh, be sure to check us out at iPadJailbreak.com or also on uh, YouTube at iPad Jailbroken. Thanks guys.